Hey, what's going on, YouTubers and YouTubettes? Uh, so, welcome to the channel, I guess. I don't know, I'm making this because I built this uh, Milwaukee M18 power boombox about a year ago to use in my work van and on job sites. And uh, it's actually pretty awesome. I love it. But uh, I'm actually going to be adding a few uh, things to it. And I figured that while I'm doing that, then I might as well make some videos and show the rest of the world how I exactly I put all this together. So, what you're seeing here is a Pioneer doubled in like a car radio hooked up to car audio speakers. We got Rockford Fosgate 6x9s and 6 and halfs. I got my Milwaukee M18 powered battery and I have the adapter here to draw power from it and a voltage regulator. I will post the links in the description. So basically what this does is it takes the voltage from your M18 battery, feeds it into a voltage regulator which steps it from you know whatever the battery is putting out, probably about 20 or 18 volts, down to whatever voltage I want. I have it currently set at 14.4 volts which is you know what if a car was running what the alternator would be you know, putting that charging system at. So, anyways, here it is, M18 powered boombox. I would play some music on it so you could see how loud it is, but I don't have any copyright stuff, and uh, yeah, honestly, the video will not do it justice at all, but this thing is loud. So, uh, yeah, I guess um, I'm going to go ahead and take a break here and start taking this puppy apart and show you guys what it's all about. about you guys but my Milwaukee does this thing where it just drops my bit every single time unless I like hit it with the impact first. Let's try that and see if that works. Alright. See? No, it doesn't move. Right! Like. Alright, well, here we go basically. If I pull this out of here, you can see we got you know, the wires for the power and everything, the wires for all the speakers, but uh, I also have a little bit hard to see in there right now, but there is a Pioneer 100.4D uh, or D100.4 amplifier, a little dusty right now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so this whole thing is powered by an amplifier, not just speaker power, and uh, when it is running, you know, not playing any music, just being on it idle. It draws about, uh, I think it was 1.4 volts, or I'm sorry, 1.4 amps. Uh, the M18 batteries, I have 5.0, that'll last about three and a half, four hours at full blast. And a 9.0 last me about, you know, five, six hours. It's crazy. So it is uh, pretty fun. This is it. Alright, so I got this entire thing gutted in probably about 10-15 minutes. So, the reason I'm taking all of this apart is because I'm going to be coating this box. As you can see, it's kind of dirty and it was kind of just like a rough cut that I did just to see how it would work, how the setup would work, and you know, it, I kind of like it enough to keep going with it. So, 
What I've got here is some exo hide protective coating for like subwoofer boxes, as you can see. That's a video for a different day over there, but the idea is to apply this protective coating here. I'm going to be adding a Bluetooth microphone so that, you know, even though this radio can accept calls and rings and everything, I can't actually use it because it doesn't have a mic. So that will take care of that. I'm just going to mount the microphone probably right here. Usually when I'm driving, you know, my arm is right here. That's why this is all dirty. But uh, the other, other thing I'm going to add is some RCA outputs in the back. That way, if I ever wanted to, ex you know, hook this up to a powered subwoofer, that is also an option. That will also probably happen. And then also here, I tried to make kind of like a base port. I didn't really know what I was doing and uh, immediately regretted it. And, you know, it was just like instant gratification. I just wanted a little bit more punch in the base. I'd cut a hole in the side there. So we're cutting off this side or this end of the box pretty much here. I'm going to replace it with new wood. And what we're going to do is add a passive radiator. So I've got a 7-inch passive radiator in the mail that's going to go here. I've got the uh, female-to-female uh, bulkhead RCA jacks that are going to go on the back side here. i got some RCA cables, just some short ones to run inside the box to get to that. And, uh, yeah, the possibilities are really endless. So that's, uh, that's going to be it for now, guys. Y'all stay safe. Have a good night. TTYL.